Hey viewers, I work on a lot of old bikes and a lot of times they have rusty parts. So I get to play around with a lot of different rust removers and see how they work. Um, my favorites are like a vapor rust and vinegar. I have videos using those. But I often get comments from viewers going, well, you should have used this one or this one works better than that one, blah, blah, blah. Anyway, so what I'm going to do tonight is I'm going to have a rust remover showdown with four different rust removers. First up vapor rust. I've had a lot of good luck with this and so we're going to go ahead and try this out against the other ones. Next up, Metal Rescue. I have not used this one but I've had viewers say that they have had good luck with this and it's available in a lot of places where a vapor rust isn't so we're going to try this one out. Vinegar. Uh, I have white distilled vinegar but I've also used apple cider vinegar as well and I've used this in the past and uh, so we're going to go ahead. I'm going to use the white distilled vinegar but you can also try the apple cider vinegar as well but I'm going to try this one and compare this against the other ones. Next up Coca-Cola. A lot of people say Coca-Cola is great rust remover and so I'm going to go ahead and try these against the other uh, rust removers and see how this compares. Now I'm trying to make the test as fair as possible at comparing apples to apples and so in each of these little plastic bins uh, I have like a bit of chain cut from the same longer piece of chain. It's got a little bit of rust on there and I have some uh, rusty flat nails in each one. They all kind of came from the same container so they're all rusted about the same amount. Um, but I also threw in some other miscellaneous parts, some screws, uh, a nut, uh, a little miscellaneous part of some sort here just with a little bit of rust on there to see how it works on that. And then in each of the little bins I also put in a piece of aluminum just to see how the rust remover affects the aluminum because you may want to put like something like a derailleur into some rust remover to remove the rust off the rusty parts but not damage the aluminum parts as well. Anyway, so this is what we're going to be using. Okay, now I have the various rust removers poured into the individual containers and they're all labeled and let's see how these work. All right. Okay, let's check to see how this stuff is doing here. Uh, this is the vapor rust here. Here's the chain and you can look to see a lot of that rust is gone. So rinse it off in the water here and I kind of wipe it off here and that actually looks pretty good like right like that. That's the vapor rust, that's the chain. Uh, here's one of those little nails and that's looking pretty good. Looks like there's still some kind of scale up here it's, so it's still kind of rough a little bit but uh, it's looking much better here and this cleaned up pretty nicely. It looks like all the rust has come off of this part here there's the aluminum. Doesn't look like that was affected at all. The nut cleaned up really well here. That was pretty rusty. Looks like the, the washer still has a little bit of rust on it here. And here's the barrel adjuster. And it looks a lot better. It looks like there's still a little bit of rust on here. This was pretty rusty. But I'm going to put these parts back in here. And so we can kind of see what happens if you leave this stuff in too long. What happens if you just leave it in? Now let's take a look at the metal rescue here. And here's the chain. Rinse this off here. And it looks like the rust is gone. Looks like it's starting to turn a little bit black, but I don't know if it's any worse than the uh, the vapor rust. But it looks like it's removed the rust from the chain there. Here's uh, one of the nails. So it looks like a lot of the rust is gone, but it looks like there's still a lot of scale. I don't think the metal rus rescue has done nearly as well on these rusty nails. They're not quite as clean. This one actually looks better, but cable hanger here. And it's done a pretty good job of cleaning this part up here. Here's a piece of aluminum. That doesn't look like it was like really affected at all. That still has a little bit of rust on it, uh, not as clean as the available rust, but 
looks uh, much better than it did. The washer looks pretty good. And then the screw here still has rust on it, but it was pretty rusty to begin with. So I'm going to stick all this stuff back in here and see what happens. Now here's the vinegar, and I can you can see it actually like bubbles coming up off of this stuff here. And then this part here still has rust on it, but I can actually just wipe most of that just right off of there with the, with the rag there. So it actually removed most of the rust from that. And I can actually read writing on there now. And flat nail here. So it's, the rust is still on there, but I can wipe it off pretty easily here. So it's, it's still got a little bit of scale on it, but and a little bit of rust. Probably if I went through with a, a wire wheel or a wire brush over here. Here's the chain. Now just pulling out, it looks kind of ugly, but let's see what happens. If I wipe it off, it looks much better like that. So like with the vinegar, it looks like there's going to be a lot more uh, kind of try to clean up afterwards. Maybe have to go through uh, with some soap and water and a nylon brush and scrub all these parts off to scrub all that stuff off of there. But it's definitely looking better. The aluminum piece looks pretty good. Uh, still lots of rust on this barrel adjuster here. That, and there's still rust on this washer here. I can kind of wipe some of it off here, but there's still lots of rust on there. And here's a nut, similar to the other ones. The other ones were nice and clean coming out of the, uh, like the vapor rust was pretty much clean. The metal rescue was mostly clean. There's still a lot of rust on this nut. So I'm going to stick these parts back in here for longer and see how this does. And here is the Coca-Cola. Let's see how this is done. I'll rinse this off here. And it looks like there's still rust on this chain here. Yeah, there's still rust on this chain here. It's still looking pretty ugly. And rinse this off here. And there's still rust on this part here. That one's look, still looking pretty ugly. Here's rusty nail. And yeah, there's still rust on there. So the Coke is not doing a whole lot. It's not working real fast for the Coke. So it might just uh, need to be in there a lot longer for these parts. Yeah, because there's rust on this, this washer here, and it's not wiping off. So the Coke is, I don't know if the Coke's doing anything or if it's just working extraordinarily slow, but it's just not keeping pace with the other uh, cleaners here. So that was eight hours. So let's see, I'm going to leave them in there longer and see how they do uh, with more time. Okay, well I've had the parts in the rust removers now for about 20 hours and interestingly you can see the vinegar here, uh, it's uh, bubbling off the parts in there, so that's pretty cool. But let's go ahead and take a look at all the parts. Okay, so here's the parts in the Evapo rust and this chain is looking really good. Just going to scrub it off a little bit here and I mean that just looks... Uh, really good here. The, the links look all nice and clean there. And let me see. Here's one of the nails. It's kind of turning black here. But it looks like, you know, like all the rust is gone off of there. And same thing, you know, here. Nice and clean looking there. And we had this part here. And that just looks great like all the rest is off that doesn't look any uh, worse for wear being in there for a while and this is that uh, nuts still looks good and here's the barrel adjuster so now looks that looks great all the rust is gone off of that washer looks great and no wear and tear on the aluminum part here so all that stuff just looks great but I'm gonna put it back in and just see how it looks later Okay, here's the metal rescue stuff. This all still looks good. And 
I mean, there's no rust on it, but for some reason it looks visibly darker than the uh, chain that was in the vapor rust for some reason. I do not know. Okay, and here's one of the nails. And this is pretty rough, but I don't know, maybe it was just the nail was rustier than the other ones. I mean, this nail looks pretty good. Okay, now here's this screw. And it looks like there's still rust on there. Like down in the threads here. And it looks like all the rust is off of the uh, washer here. But there's kind of interesting black markings on here. I don't know what that's about. Aluminum looks fine. And all the rust is off the little nut there. So I'm going to stick these parts back in here. Okay, let's take a look at the parts in the vinegar here. I mean, it looks like the chain is free of rust. And it actually looks pretty good. Kind of blackish stuff come off there. How about this part here? There was still a little bit of rust on there, I think. And that looks pretty clean of rust. Okay, there's still a little bit of rust on this washer here. It hasn't quite pulled that off yet. But it's mostly off. And nails are looking better here. Let's see about these other two here. It uh, looks like there's still a little bit of rust on there, but let's see if this kind of wipes off. Yep. Looks like that stuff is just wiping off, so the vinegar definitely helped loose it up. Yeah. Looks like there's some still a few little spots of rust on there. They're slowly coming off. Yeah, this nut here is still pretty rusty so it hasn't really removed the rust from this yet it looks like it's slowly coming off but and it's still a lot of rust on this barrel adjuster it's coming off a little bit with the brush though loosening it up a little bit but it's not as clean as the barrel adjuster that was in the vapor rust and the aluminum looks fine so let's put these think parts back in there and we got the parts in the coca-cola here let's take a look at this and there's still rust there. It's not really... Maybe, maybe it's doing something, but it's just very, very slow. Here's the chain. Yeah, the chain does, does, does not look as good as the chain in the other uh, removers. And here's like one of the nails. And it's still rusty. And still got rust on it. The aluminum piece looks fine. Not turning any colors or anything like that. Still rust on the washer. Still rust on the screw. So the Coca-Cola, if it is working, it's working extremely slowly. Not even in the same class as the other removers. But we'll put them back in and we'll see how they look later. Well, I've had these all soaking now for about 48 hours, and you can even see a little, a little bit of foam here on the vinegar one and stuff, so. Um, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead, pull all these parts out, scrub them uh, with a brush and in some uh, dish soap, and get them cleaned up, and we'll take a look at uh, what they all look like together. Okay, I have all the parts laid out here. I took them out of the uh, different rust removers. Took them over, scrubbed them off with uh, dish soap and water, and dried them out to take a look at see what they look like. Um, here's the vapor rust, and here's the chain. I think it actually looks pretty good. It cleaned up really nice. And this part also here is nice and shiny and cleaned all the rest off of that. The nails, the nails look uh, great. They're kind of like a, a kind of a dark color, like that. They look nice and clean. Uh, the, the nut, nice and clean. The washer. Looks like it's a little touch of rust in there. It was clean, but it's starting to rust again. And then this uh, barrel adjuster was clean, but it's starting to uh, rust again here. Now the Metal Rescue, it also did a pretty good job, mostly. Uh, here's the chain, and it's it's clean. Maybe a touch of rust here, a couple of round, a couple of rivets there. But when I compare it side by side with the Vapor Rust chain. I think just the vapor rust chain just looks uh, better than the metal rescue chain, and this uh, came out nice. The nail nails, on the other hand, they're just kind of like 
it's still kind of kind of a little bit of rust and kind of scaly on there. And compared side by side with the Vapor Rust nails, I'm gonna go with the Vapor Rust nails. They just look better than the Metal Rescue nails there. Now this screw here, so it's got rust on it. It just never came clean at all. Um, here, this nut here, it was pretty clean, but it's starting to get a little bit of rust on there. And then also this this washer here, it looks like there's still a bit of rust on here that didn't quite all come off, or it's starting to rust again. But so between the two, I'm going to lean with the vapor rust on that. Now here's the vinegar. Uh, this chain here. Looks like there's little touches of rust kind of around where the rivets are on both sides there. And it had a really kind of black kind of coating on it that it took a while to scrub off. It was really dirty. Um, but compared to side to side with the Evapo Rust chain, uh, the, I'm going to call the Evapo Rust chain a winner there. Um, now the nails, on the other hand, the nails uh, kind of cleaned up. And they're kind of smooth, but they're kind of a weird, they're maybe like a, like a touch of like rust or something on there, just very slight. But compared side by side with the vapor rust nails, these kind of turned out, kind of turned gray. I don't know, uh, vinegar has a weird habit of sort of, um, almost sort of pickling the metals. If you leave, leave them in there too long, it'll kind of start doing weird stuff to the metal. Um, so I think the vapor rust nails look just better than the vinegar. Uh, nails there. This part again has sort of like a, a weird black coating. It was actually cleaner but then started kind of turning a little bit of black there. And this had look cleaner and started rusting again. And compared to the uh, vapor rust screw, I think the vapor rust uh, barrel adjuster is slightly better. And then this here never did quite come uh, clean. There's still rust on this nut here. It just never did come uh, clean. And then there was also a washer here. And the washer just kind of turned kind of gray. Um, yeah, just vinegar, just, just weird stuff to metals now. Now here's the Coca-Cola stuff. And the Coca-Cola did not do a good job. The chain is still rusty. This part is still rusty. The nails are still rusty. All the parts still are rusty. It just did not do a good job of removing the rust. So I'm going to consider the Coca-Cola just a, a failure there. So the Coca-Cola is out. And between the other three, I'm going to put the Vapor Rust as being the best uh, rust remover of these four. Um, and I'm going to... Uh, say it's kind of almost a toss-up between the Metal Rescue and the Vinegar. They both kind of did good job, sort of. Um, but one thing of the Vinegar, it's much cheaper than the uh, Metal Rescue. But as far as just the best rust remover, I'm going to call the Vapor Rust the winner. Anyway, I hope you found this useful or interesting. If you did, please give my video a thumbs up. If you're not subscribed to my channel, click the big subscribe button. You'll see new videos that come out. I'm always coming out with new videos. Uh, I'm over on Facebook, RJ the Bike Guy. Go over there, like my page. I post a lot of stuff over there. And I have a webpage, rjthebikeguy.com. Go over there, some, sign up for that page. I have my videos all categorized, and I have some forums where you can ask questions. Anyway, thank you very much for watching.